ChatGPT 5.2 just dropped and apparently is crushing the leaderboards. But is it really better than Gemini 3 Pro and Cloud Opus 4.5? Well, today I'm running a full showdown to find out. So the first prompt is to create a realistic 3D simulation of a Golden Gate Bridge with accurate geometry and all other things. And here is the GPT 5.2. Let's see what we got here. So we can move. Everything is working. It looks pretty nice. We can zoom, we can increase the traffic density, it looks very nice, yeah, that looks pretty, pretty, pretty good, fog, increase fog, exactly as it was in the prompt, so let's put it like that, there are some problems when you zoom in too much, but uh, overall, it really looks very good, wouldn't you say so, so then we have Gemini 3 Pro, much more kind of a motion, the colors are not right, but you know, the traffic density works, fog density works, time of the day, let's say morning, weather overcast, let's try light rain, you see that this works pretty good also, it's kind of a complicated prompt, but all of the models at least for now, works pretty good. So now let's see Claude Opus 4.5. I'm using all of that in Abacus AI. You can find the link down in the description. Nonetheless, let's see. From the high level overview, Claude looks the best. You see how easy I can move all that 3D model. I can zoom, I can pan, very nice. Let's change the fog density, nice, let's change the traffic density, here, and now let's move closer, yeah, we see everything there, it's kind of a pixelated, but you know, you cannot expect more, and then let's change once again, so you see there are almost no cars here, and now increasing this, you see how many cars, so pretty good from all three models. Now let's try something that ChatGPT bragged about on an image input and identifying the components. So here I uploaded the DC motor and then set to the AI to see if it can identify. So we have the rotor, terminal junction, looks nice, looks good. Right bearing, you know, there are much more details here. But overall, this looks pretty good. And we can also you know, change the font, add new components, lines, add something else. For example, new component called, I don't know, test, fine, and it will be added there. So this looks pretty good from GPT 5.2. Two. Then we have the Gemini 3 Pro, very similar. So we have almost everything re regards to the identifying. We can hide the labels. This is nice. We cannot do all of the things that we could do in GPT 5.2. So, you know, added a different annotations, but overall it works. And again, we can choose additional file. And then this is the cloud part. I think it identified the most of the things. So we have the commutator, bearings, rotor, setter returns, cooling fan. Pretty good job. Overall, I again cannot say who is the winner. The GPT has the most functionalities, but Claude recognized the most of the real things. Then let's create a single page app in single HTML of the ocean wave simulation. So this is GPT 5.2. We see that something is moving. Let's change the wind speed this works let's change the wave height but it's kind of a it, it's it's not really 3d you cannot see anything that is happening here light intensity all of those things looks nice we can change dawn noon it does looks nice but it's not like open air represented that on their own website because this is their prompt that i used and it does not look the same nonetheless it's it's pretty good then we had gemini this is more like a 3D model, and you see wave height, let's increase this, wind speed, also increase to look better, sun intensity, dropping, increasing, water color, I would say this looks better from Gemini. And then we have Claude, it kind of took a different approach, so you see here is the 
kind of a fog part and the particles let's say dawn day sunset night day looks good wave height it's kind of a nice simulation but more kind of a cartoonish then let's play with spreadsheets and create a workforce planning model so this is what we got from ChatGPT. looks pretty good this is actually the very comprehensive model of the hiring plan headcount hiring attrition budget impact and all of the formulas really works this looks really really good then if we go to the gemini this is pretty basic i would say you know it, i could do that in excel manually in probably a couple of minutes so not really good from gemini here and then we have claude opus 4.5 also very basic nothing much happening here so the real winner here is for sure gpt 5.2 then of course we need to create a clone of photoshop with all the basic tools so brushes layers edit history filters all of that so this is gpt 5.2 let's see what we have okay let's try to change the canvas increase let's say 5000 5000 resize the document okay fine then we can do brushes you see we can do all of that eraser also works nice now let's for example try to open an image okay here is the motherboard looks nice we can for example select filters invert does not work apply yeah it works Cephia, it works so yeah pretty good we have basic photoshop effects here added to the application then we have gemini 3 pro let's try brush very good much more smoother than in gpt then we have eraser also much more smoother paint bucket great you know changing the background all of those then let's try with file nice and also we have filters grayscale invert and the history pretty basic but it works and then we have claude opus let's see this one okay drawing then we have pencil great opacity size then we can draw a line rectangle oval pretty good all of the filters here let's see what else we can do image undo file open an image let's open a motherboard once again let's do a grayscale oh very good Cephia invert sharpen very good functionality here Claude Opus here is the winner for sure then let's do something with the game so create a replica of Counter-Strike so here is GPT 5.2 let's see what we can do here seems like we cannot do anything you see here is the map the enemies are moving but we cannot move with w a c d something is locked here something is really not working so not a good job from gpt then we have gemini 3 pro so this does work i can move here are the enemies i can shoot you see and it works i can move this again looks like wolfenstein 3d yeah reload also works this is much much better than gpt and then we have claude let's play again okay moving on to the enemies also the moving works and firing also works yeah here here are the enemies looks nice i would say gemini is the best one here now we also need to create an html of an interactive san francisco cable car experience so let's see that here is the gpt let's see if it works so we have speedometer here slope cable power and we can move you see how it moves with the arrows on the keyboard it's very slow but slope data works nice cable power also works nice we have space we can break here is the golden gate bridge 
this looks nice and we can also drag the camera to pan wherever we want so i would say this is a pretty good job from gpt then this is the gemini 3 pro it's more cartoonish style and we have these buttons here so here is the power oh this one runs pretty fast look at how it goes okay break nice let's see the physics it will go down there it is it is it's oh now it will crash pretty pretty nice let's increase power let's see more more nice oh this is pretty good break and then this is claude very good buildings let's increase power very nice motion break works power works all three actually works pretty good the gpt is the slowest one but it has the most details i would say then let's just create a graph of humanity's last exam scores over time so this is gpt 5.2 okay we have parameters here and this is the graph let's look at it so we have claude 3.5 sonnet then gemini increasing then we are missing ChatGPT overall here gemini again here gpt5 and gpt5 pro here is now the winner apparently by this graph the gemini did similar things so we have claude 01 gemini 2.4 nice gpt5 gpt5 pro gemini here is the winner humanity last exam hile and state of the art so soda looks pretty similar then we have the claude still gemini 3 pro seems here is the winner and this is by the way the human expert baseline 90 percent so some would say that ai still has a long way to beat humans in everything nice now we also need to create a simple weather app to see which one performs the best here so this is gpt 5.2 let's maximize okay this looks pretty nice searching city we cannot but we can click here and change the city london sydney we have some nice placeholders here so for example sunny works then cloudy works also rain this also works but there are some things that are not working at all for example the searchability then this is gemini this is by the way all the demo data so we have clear here 25 cloudy works rain very good animation storm snow let's say clear change the city dubai yes nice also works so this is pretty good from gemini i would say the animation here is much much better then claude again this is all the demo data we can change the cities Reykjavik the same degree as it is in London <laughs> that's nice Saturday Sunday weather cloudy but the point of this exercise was to see how good the animations and the design was this is not of course the real data animations are nice I would say Gemini and Claude here are sharing the first place and then of course we need to try to create a realistic visual simulation of beehive construction so let's see that here is gpt 5.2 okay let's reset and let's resume so there are building size. let's increase the colony size that's nice resource also looks pretty good we can even zoom and let's see what is happening so they built seven cells still seven constantly seven they are increasing honey stored so overall this looks nice especially from the animation perspective but realistically they are not building additional cells which is not good that was not the prompt this is not the real simulation then then we have gemini 3 pro let's reset let's increase the quality size resource also and you see they are really building all of the cells you see this is very good honey stored they're not storing any honey for some reason oh no they are now now this is a real simulation then so this is much better from gemini yeah, yeah look what is happening here increasing more bees this is the real simulation 
pretty good job and then we have Claude let's see that okay also they're building something let's increase bees we don't have it okay cells are building that's nice honey store also active bees yeah this is also realistic simulation I would say the Gemini is the best one here but also Claude is pretty pretty good so now who is the best performer I would say at 3d simulator all three performed very similarly so we have GPT Gemini and Claude very very good then we have this recognition of what is happening at the image I would say GPT is the best one here because we have many different possibilities added with the same prompt then we have the ocean wave simulation once again I would say here actually is the Gemini 3 Pro winner then from the spreadsheet perspective the clear winner is actually GPT 5.2 really comprehensive spreadsheet then on the Photoshop clone clear winner is actually Claude Opus really works nicely and it has many many different functionalities on the game counter-strike replica gemini 3 pro is the clear winner by my opinion on the san francisco cable car side view interactive svg all of them worked pretty good i could not decide on a winner there then we have also the charts and graphs all three performs pretty pretty good yeah then on the weather app i think the most realistic and very good looking is the gemini 3 pro and then on the beehive construction look how they are building this is really really nice once again gemini here is the winner so overall if i would say gemini 3 and claude are very close and i would say unfortunately gpt is still somewhat behind of those two but we'll see everything is developing thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye